What's up guys, my name is Jonathan and today I wanna to share with you my experience doing 75 hard and some of the benefits that I experienced as a result of it. But before we get to that, a uh, bit of an introduction. My name is Jonathan, I'm the host here of The Jono Show. I make these videos because I think there is a lot of value in documenting the journey. I'm also the host of the Venue RX podcast. It's a podcast specifically for wedding and event venues and people in the event industry, as well as the CEO of Common Sense Events. We are a wedding and event venue management company that does hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in wedding sales. And I am just basically chronicling my journey here on this channel for you and hopefully there are some lessons that I've learned the hard way that maybe you'll be able to uh, take from what I've done and, and not have to learn those in as hard of a way. Today I want to talk about uh, 75 Hard. It is a program by Andy Frazella and uh, I chose to do it earlier at the beginning of this year. So in November, around November, December of 2021, I really felt like uh, I wasn't making as much progress as I wanted. I really felt like I didn't have the mental clarity that I wanted to have. And I really felt quite frustrated with the amount of progress that the business was making. And at this time, you know, we were doing about 600,000 a year in, in sales. Um, so, you know, still pretty good, but those are just gross figures, you know, and you, when you account in expenses and all that, it ends up being quite a bit less. And so for me, I just really wanted to go to the next level. And I knew that to do that, I needed to focus on myself and I need to focus on, um, upgrading my own mentality, my own mindset, my ability to have clarity and things like that. So I'd heard about the 75 hard challenge. Now I want to say there's one other piece of this, and that is I had wanted to do this challenge for a long time. And I, kept making excuses for myself, to be very honest. Uh, I kept saying, you know, oh, I've got all these kids. I'm never going to be able to fit it in. I had four, four children at the time uh, saying things like, oh, you know, we're bringing on these venues or I have all this other work to do. I'm never going to be able to fit it in or, you know, the drinking thing. So there's a number of components to this and we're going to get into it in a second. But, um, you know, the drinking thing, you know, I drank pretty regularly, pretty much daily. And, um, you know, whether it was wine or beer or whatever with meals, with friends socially. And I just was like, man, I don't know, like, do I want to stop? And I, at that point was drinking regularly, but I was, I was really kind of using it to unwind. And, uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like the direction that my use of alcohol had gone. And so, um, but at the same time, I kind of was still making these excuses. So I decided, Hey, I'm going to just, you know, jump into the deep end here and figure it out at the beginning of the year. Fun fact, <laughs> fun story. I actually ended up getting COVID um, like the week prior and I got it, you know, pretty bad, had, you know, the aches and headaches and all the different uh, things, you know, really felt really sore, um, really groggy. I actually filmed a podcast on the Venue RX channel when it was almost at its worst and I completely forgot to press record. Like I forgot to press record on the podcast. I recorded the audio version of it um, and I'll maybe later share which one that was, but um, it, it was it was not a great time, but what I ended up doing was just starting right then despite all the bad conditions. And I have to say, you know, the first week was, was good because I felt that momentum from starting and I kind of was congratulating myself. And then the second and third week as I got into it more, um, were started to get tough. And the tough part for me is the consistency. And that's one of the reasons that I want to start being more consistent on this channel and documenting the journey because consistency and discipline for me have not been strong suits. They haven't been strengths at all. And I knew that to be able to take my business to the next level and to be able to take my level of execution of what I wanted for my life and what I wanted for my family, I knew that I had to focus on myself and that level of discipline and consistency really needed to elevate. Uh, I think I worked very hard, but it was like this spurt motivation, this spurt productivity, this, uh, this spurts of hard work. Uh, and spurts of clarity. And I don't want that. You know, I want more consistent clarity and I want more consistent focus. So anyway, I started going through it, got into a rhythm. Some days it wasn't pretty, you know, but each day I got it done. You've got to drink a gallon of water. You have two 45 minute workouts per day. You have to follow some sort of diet. And for me, I cut out sugar. I cut out carbonation. I cut out a number of different things. I didn't go on like a specific diet per se, but I did limit a number of things or cut some things out completely. Of course, no alcohol and no cheat days. Um, what else? A gallon of water a day, 
Um, yeah, I think I got all of it. And you have to do it for 75 days. That's why it's called 75 hard. And so as I started going through it, you know, all of the different things came up, you know, um, I had to do it really, really late at night one time, you know, I had to do it really, really early in the morning to be able to fit it in before taking the kids to school. I had all of these different things that I had that were obstacles in my way of getting this program done. But I just said to myself, Hey, I'm going to make this commitment to myself. I'm going to get this done. And a big part of this also was for a reason that I feel like it may not seem that I would struggle with, but I definitely did. And that was my own personal confidence. You know, my personal level of uh, feeling good about what I was doing and my trust in myself that I would keep promises to myself. And in the past, I've broken so many of those. And so for me, it was really personal. Like I wanted to do this for me to get this done. And so, um, you know, maybe if you're out there right now and you're thinking this is you, like jump into something like 75 hard doesn't have to be 75 hard, but jump into something like that because it, it forces you, it gives you something outside of yourself to be accountable to. And I think that's really important. So anyway, started going through it month one, month two, it's like two and a half months, something like that. Um, what is that? Yeah. Two and a half months. Um, and I got to the end of it and let me tell you the clarity that I had, the you know, waking up in the morning and feeling sharp right away instead of kind of groggy from drinking the day before. Um, the, just the drinking the water had really, really helped. I ended up dropping almost 20 pounds. Um, I started hearing like interesting comments that I never needed to, to hear before, never wanted to hear, never thought that I would hear before. Uh, like, hey, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. Or, and I was like, my God, like, you know, did I weigh a lot before? Like what, what happened here? But it's crazy because you don't realize the, the steady creeping effect that negativity has in your life or negative things or negative choices with diet or, you know, whatever the case may be. And I think I let it go long enough through the pandemic and through COVID. Um, and just personally, I had let those things go with diet, with exercise that I had got to a place where I, you know, was 200 pounds. Um, and I definitely needed to, you know, lose weight. I definitely needed to revamp my diet and I definitely need to institute these, these things. It didn't feel like I needed to in the moment, but after going through that process and cleaning things up, I definitely realized how badly I really needed it. So, um, that was, that was fantastic. But what was great is after that, I felt like, my God, I'm just on a roll. Like I want to keep doing this. And so I decided that I wasn't going to drink alcohol at all for a year to see if I could do it. And just to see the impact that it had on the business, to see the impact that it had on my family life, my personal life, even my finances, like alcohol isn't cheap. And, um, so I I've done that. I'm six months in, I have not ever felt better. You know, I'm just, I'm, feeling like uh, I, I have been able to execute a lot much quicker and clearer, specifically in the morning, which are kind of my times where I'm able to get a lot of stuff done. And, you know, I think the family life, I've been able to put back more money. The business is doing better than ever. So I can't say all of that has something to do with not drinking specifically or the 75 hard stuff or any of the physical components there. But I definitely know that those pieces all add up to uh, making me more effective in all different areas of my life. So uh, if, if you're listening to this right now and you feel like, man, like that's me, I could definitely do with something like that, try 75 hard. You know, try it and just commit that you're going to do this for 75 days. And if you're concerned that you are not going to do it for 75 days, do something else that you're going to do for 30 days. Like find a goal, find something that you can do that you're going to accomplish that ties your uh, mental state, your physical state, um, your emotional state kind of all together and find something that you can stay consistent to for a specific amount of time and see how you feel after. And I believe that you'll feel really good. You'll feel inspired and, and passionate and better than ever. And you'll want to continue it. And then you can, you know, check out whatever other thing. But for me, it was more something that taught me consistency. It caught me, it taught me discipline. And it really, I think, reinforced for myself that, you know, I can accomplish stuff and gave me new levels of confidence. Ugh, can't talk. Um, gave me new levels of confidence that I didn't have before. So anyway, I want to encourage you guys, you know, if you were in that place that I was before, make the jump, either start the program or some program similar to that, you will not uh, be sorry at all. And I would love to hear in the comments, if you have done 75 hard, the results you've had, you know, are, were they weight results? Were they mentality results? You know, how your mindset uh, was? I'd love to hear from that. 
So anyway, thank you so much for checking this video out and joining me today. We'll see you in the next video.